Right, we by Laterans, we have a head. That's something that the non by Laterans never thought of. See, if you always move forward, and if you no longer are radially symmetrical, in other words, your two halves are different, your front end becomes a head. And if it's always moving forward, then that's where you're going to need to put your eyes and your mouth eventually. And the nervous tissue in that area has to swell to make a brain. And so it was the bilaterans that invented the head with the brain. And thus a nerve cord would then have to travel to the rest of the body. These were all new inventions. A variety of different types of circulatory systems are used in invertebrates. In bilaterans, however, the first examples of blood vessels are known, and the first contractile blood vessels, which were autorhythmic. In other words, the primitive hearts were simply blood vessels which would contract rhythmically. And so, Primitive bilaterans develop the first hearts and blood vessels. The most primitive bilateran animals, they use the same opening to both take food into their bodies and to excrete it out of their bodies, excrete the waste. So this one opening served as both a mouth and an anus. However, the more advanced bilaterans, they evolved a complete digestive tract with two separate openings so that food entered the mouth, was digested along the intestines, and then the remaining undigestible waste was excreted from the anus. This complete digestive system was invented by primitive bilateran animals. Here we are inside the nervous system of a bilateran worm. Although this nervous system is far simpler than the nervous system of humans, nevertheless, there are a number of features which bilaterans share, such as multiple shapes of neurons, multipolar, bipolar, and unipolar, neurons with axons and dendrites, a wider use of neurotransmitters and neuropeptides, supporting cells known as glial cells, neurosecretory cells similar to those of the hypothalamus. Also, bilaterans share a number of genes expressed in embryos which guide the development of the nervous system and brain. After the most primitive bilateral worms, more advanced bilateral worms evolved more advanced nervous systems which included larger brains, longitudinal nerve cords stretching the length of the body, and more prominent eyes. Bilaterans share a number of features of the muscular system as well. The wave-like movement of muscles known as peristalsis, which is used in the digestive, urinary, and reproductive systems in humans, is a type of muscle movement which is shared among the bilaterans. Also, proteins found in muscle tissue, such as troponin and tropomyosin, are shared by bilateral animals. Bilateral animals underwent a number of genetic changes which allowed them to become more complex. There were many gene duplications so that one ancestral gene was duplicated and thus once there were multiple forms of the gene, they could be modified separately to take on new functions. This was true especially of the kinase, immunoglobulin, and lectin families of genes. There were lots of gene duplications among the transcription factor genes. These transcription factors serve as the control switches of which genes get turned on and turned off, allowing for greater complexity. There were also increases in many pathways, such as the control over cell division. And so, gene amplification allowed for much more complex genetic mechanisms in bilateral animals.